Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Gerard Puccio, Chair of the International Center for Studies in Creativity. I've been Chair now for 22 years, and as I look back on my career, which really has gone by in the blink of an eye, there are some really exciting things to share. In fact, I would say over that career, the initiatives that we're involved in now represent some of the most strategically important initiatives I've ever undertaken at ICSE. So consider this a state of the center address as a friend of ICSC or alumnus. I hope you're interested in, in learning about these updates. Settle in, have a cup of coffee, drink of choice, and enjoy this update. So the main focus of, of this update is to share with you a vision for a new space, uh, a space that's uh, uh, going to help us to really um, showcase our work that's the main focus of this presentation, but I do want to provide some other quick updates. Um, this may disappoint some, but we will be moving out of Chase Hall in about five years into a completely rehabbed classroom building with really prime real estate within that building. We're in the process of hiring a new uh, faculty member, assistant professor, who will come on board in September of this academic year. We continue to work on the doctoral program, developing the courses, uh, and are projecting a launch of that program, a PhD in creativity and change leadership in about three years. And then finally, thank you for the many alumni and friends of the department who've given us feedback on our brand and the need to clean up our brand. We've been working on that initiative now for about a year. We've come to a new name for the department, a new name for the center, new names for the degree, uh, new look and feel, uh, new positioning. We will be developing a new website. Really some exciting things and thanks uh, to uh, alumni and friends of the department who have provided uh, financial support to make that happen. This will be uh, launched in fall of 2020, so stay tuned for that. But this presentation takes us into a, an initiative that is happening right now, and that is the creation of an innovation suite that represents and allows us uh, to carry out, to better carry out our work at the International Center for Studies in Creativity. So I'm looking at that space and thinking about this vision for this innovation suite. I want to harken back to the words of Sid Parnes, who saw a very close connection before positive psychology was a thing between creativity and well-being and helping people to self-actualize. Sid said this, I look to future generations of self-actualizing individuals whose main purpose in life is self-actualizing themselves and helping others to do the same. Children, families, students, employees, friends, colleagues, mentees, to higher levels of an infinite continuum of human potential development. And so this innovation space that we're looking at in Butler Library is designed to help take what we know about creativity and put it into action, to help individuals, students, to help um, members of the community self-actualize their creativity. So let's look at the space. The innovation suite, which will put applied imagination to work, includes four elements. This is a top-down view of the second floor of Butler Library. If you know where the current Creative Studies collection is, this new space that's being allocated to this innovation suite is about four times that footprint. So the four elements are the Creative Studies collection will move, will expand that collection, uh, and include uh, more archival material. Part of what we want to do is to be sure that we represent our storied history and that we uh, illustrate that Buffalo State and the International Center for Studies and Creativity was the epicenter for the worldwide creative education movement. Moving from the Creative Studies collection space, uh, crossing a bridge, we move to the brainstorming room so we go from one side theory to the other side of the innovation suite is, uh, suite is about action, putting creativity to work. And in a brainstorming room, we will have space dedicated to applied creativity sessions. Third element is a student startup incubator. 
This is where the Small Business Development Center at Buffalo State is participating in the innovation suite. Entrepreneurial activities, of course, are fueled by uh, creative thinking and creative problem solving is necessary to move a concept to a successful enterprise. And then finally, as Ruth Noller pointed out so well, mentoring is a key component of helping individuals to actualize, and we have space dedicated to mentoring and coaching. So as we enter into the space, I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough. We pass a timeline highlighting the history of the International Center for Studies and Creativity, key achievements, uh, major players, to create a sense that this wasn't just developed overnight while others are bringing creativity into focus at their institutions, which we celebrate, we wanna make sure that we show that we had a 53 year head start down this path of deliberate creativity and the study of creativity. As we move into the space, uh, we see uh, an image for how this might be designed, tables for students to gather, have quiet conversation, better bookcases for the world's largest collection of books on the topic of creativity. If you look to the right, you see a portrait of Sid Parnes painted by a well-known Western New York artist by the name of Burke. So we see this as a contemplative style space. As we look across that space, again, we see the, the depth of the space. Uh, if you see the portrait of Sid, to the right of that is the bridge that moves us into the applied space in this innovation suite. Again, warmer bookcases mixed with archival materials. To the right, those cases could easily hold uh, archival material. We have a treasure trove of Osborne correspondence with uh, luminaries of the 20th century, uh, Henry Ford II, Abraham Maslow, and the like. We have uh, first edition prints of Osborne's books. Uh, we have Osborne's doctoral robes, um, a remarkable amount of material that highlight the fact that ICSC was involved in uh, the early work with the pioneers in the field of creativity. We cross the bridge and we come to the applied side of the innovation suite. Here we see the brainstorming room, a, a glass enclosed space designed specifically for applied creativity sessions. We now move into that space, movable chairs, movable tables, flip charts on wheels, uh, this space will be dedicated to uh, assisting community members, uh, students involved in the Small Business Incubator, take applied imagination and use it to develop breakthrough solutions to difficult challenges. Um, I mentioned briefly the community. We see the space as a way of um, providing entrepreneurial, uh, social entrepreneurship and social innovation to support, especially not-for-profit groups from the community who have, who don't have the budget to uh, bring in uh, facilitators and consultants and trainers. And uh, we would like to leverage our expertise of our alumni and our students who are training to be facilitators to provide support services to uh, to members of the community, especially, again, not-for-profit and educational groups. Outside of that room, again, we continue with the archival display. Uh, around the space, there'll be uh, inspirational creativity quotes on the wall. If you uh, look into the distance, you see someone standing on a stage. This is where the small business incubator will be located. Again, now this is looking back archival material on the wall and inspirational quotes. And then we come to the small business incubator. Here you have a view standing on the stage. This is where students, undergraduate and graduate students would practice their business pitches. Uh, New York State has a business pitch competition that Buffalo State participates in and has done very well. 
Uh, the table in front of you is where the Small Business Development Center would uh, relocate their um, small business incubator uh, for uh, students, undergraduate and graduate students. In the far distance is that mentoring space I mentioned before. This is looking back across the small business um, incubator, the uh, startup incubator for students. And this is turning and looking towards the mentoring space, a space where informal uh, conversations can happen, one-on-one -on -one meetings can be planned, uh, a flexible space. As you look at this, you'll see a half glass a wall that's a balcony to the right that overlooks a very large centralized space in the heart of Butler Library. Uh, knowing the connection between caffeine and creativity, there'll be a brand new Starbucks, uh, just a two minute walk away from, uh, from this space. This is standing in the mentoring space and looking back along the length of the room, you see the small business incubator and uh, someone standing on the stage and to the right of that is that fishbowl uh, applied brainstorming room. So that's the vision. So how do we move forward on this vision? I've been working with facilities at Buffalo State. We have support all the way up to uh, the provost of the campus. Dean of the School of the Professions, the Senior Vice President for Institutional Advancement. Facilities has given us a projected budget for the uh, uh, construction work of $400,000 and then another $150,000 to create uh, funds to maintain the operation of, uh, of this innovation suite. So our target goal is $550,000 to establish this innovation suite Great news, this is a photo of a visit out to San Diego with B. Parnes and family. And B and the Parnes family has come forward with a leadership gift of $150,000. Joe Rimel is an alumnus of our graduate program, a very successful entrepreneur, being enthralled with this vision and wanting to be supportive of the department, has pledged a gift of $40,000 we have been talking to the Osborne family who has been extremely generous in coming forward, uh, leveraging the Marion Osborne Trust. And they have pledged a gift of $100,000 with additional gifts from uh, Clara Kluke, Laura Babaro Switalski, Tim Switalski, and a few others. We are now at $300,000, which is um, a, a good chunk of the uh, money that we need to make the physical rehab, uh, $100,000 shy of that, um, and, and over 50% of the way towards the uh, long-term goal of $550,000. So an invitation to consider. I would really love to make this space a community space and uh, would like to involve as many of our alumni and friends of the center as we can. So uh, invitation to those uh, in the local area who wish to serve as facilitators in the brainstorming room to provide support to local not-for-profit agencies and educational groups. And then of course, we are $300,000 towards our goal of $550,000 and uh, I extend an invitation um, to individuals who uh, might wish to come forward and help us realize this vision. In working with our uh, facilities folks on campus, we have a targeted goal of bringing this innovation suite online in the spring of 2021, uh, and that's contingent upon our ability to get to our goal of $550,000. Well, so there you go. How do we get to this goal of $550,000? Well, we have a wonderful start, thanks to the Parnes and Osborne families who have given gifts at the Creativity Sage level. Uh, continuing on, we have three gifts available at the Creativity Leader level, or three opportunities to give gifts at the Creativity Leader level. 
which would be associated with naming. Uh, one's already been taken up by Joe Rimals, that's the mentoring and coaching space, but two opportunities remain at this level, naming the startup space with a gift of $40,000, and then the bridge that connects theory and action, um, that long hallway um, is another opportunity for naming with a gift of $30,000. To be as inclusive as we can, there are uh, further uh, gift levels that are associated with uh, public recognition on a donor wall. At the creativity mentor level, um, this is for gifts of $10,000 or more. For gifts of $5,000 or more, we call that level the creativity facilitator. A thousand or more is a creativity advocate. And then finally, to be included on the donor wall, gifts of $50 to $999, which we call creativity supporter. So there you go. That's that's our vision for this innovation suite. I hope you're as excited about this as, as I am. This is truly an opportunity to create a space that better reflects our brand and allows us to live out our mission. If you think about the library as a as the heartbeat of a campus, then locating this innovation suite in the library at Buffalo State gives us an opportunity to pump creativity out into the world, first starting with our own campus and then our local community and supporting not-for-profits and uh, local organizations to solve complex problems through applied imagination, and then ultimately the world. This is a generational opportunity for our department. Nothing in 53 years has come along quite like this. So this is exciting. I hope you'll help us to, to write this story and bring this story to fruition. You can join in a couple of ways. One is serving as a facilitator for those who are local. And then of course, we need assistance, the financial support to bring this really big, hairy, audacious goal to reality. To help us out in, in that regard, at the bottom of this slide, you see a link. That link will take you to Buffalo State's Day of Giving where if you wish, you can provide financial assistance. Hey, thanks, hope you uh, appreciated this update. Lots of exciting things happening. Thank you.